Welcome to Tasting Wine. Damn it, I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, one more step. <laughs> I'm Haley. I'm Toph. Today we're tasting wine. Do you want to say the name of the wine? I can say the name of the wine. So uh, today we are trying Argyle. Uh, this is a sparkling wine from Oregon and was actually recommended by one of y'all out there. Yeah. Frank R., thank you very much for letting us know about the sparkling wines in your region. I think Frank R. lives in that area too. So yeah, this is like a hometown wine. Yeah. This is hometowns. He's an Oregonian or like whatever. Yeah, this one's from Willamette Valley. So this is a 2007. Yes. I think it's 63% uh, Chardonnay and then 30, not really bad at math, 37% Pinot Noir. Yeah, you tell me, I don't know. Does it say it on the back? I think it says on the front. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I am good at math. Oh, here we go. Woo. This is a growing achievement for the vintage American grower sparkling wine, bottled, bottle fermented and aged on the yeast for 10 years. We have Ooh. never had Oregon sparkling no. wine before, so I'm really, really stoked yeah. to try this just because we love Oregon wine in general. Yeah, holy cow. I'm not really, it's, I don't really, it smells woody. It's, that's so funny because I felt like the exact same way. At first I was like, this kind of smells like similar to champagne, like a little like brioche kind of like getting like that bread like what's that called like bread flakes when you toast the bread and it's like flaky almost like a croissant um oh, wow but then it like kind of just switched into this like Wood wooded yeah sort of smell a lot, a lot of what i think this might need time to like open up smell wise but you gotta try it this is like this is an explosion yeah, on your palate yeah but first, before I do bubbles, Bubble. yeah, bubbles look great. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm here for the bubbles, very I'm bubbly. Here for the bubbles. Yeah, this one was like relatively priced. I think it was like thirty five bucks, which like for uh, you know, wow. age ten years, it's like an explosion, right? Oh my god. Yeah, this is like, not like powerful, but it's just like it's like delicate but powerful. Yeah, it's in, it's in, it's got an insane punch, but the bubble, yeah. the bubbles are just like all over your entire mouth. It's weird because the bubbles are like all over your mouth, but the flavor kind of like rests like in the center of your tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has to be like salivating. <laughs> yeah, it, has you, it definitely has you salivating for more. Wow, what a, f this is a super fun wine. This is super awesome. I mean, 1,305 cases produced. So what is that? Like 16,000 bottles or something? I don't know. What do you get on the taste? I don't really get much. It's just, but it has like an explosion of flavor. I don't really know what it is. Though. I know, I'm a little confused. Just like this is like, I'm gonna have to sit with this for a while because it's definitely boggling my mind. It's not that it doesn't taste like anything. It definitely tastes like something. Yeah, I just like can't like cognitively like think about what it is. I'm thinking maybe it's dried pineapple. Um, oh, okay. It's it's definitely a dried fruit. I wouldn't go for me. I wouldn't go maybe a mango. I wouldn't go dried pineapple because I've had some other champagnes that did have that dried pineapple. This doesn't have that for me, but it is a dried. It is a dried tropical fruit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I really love it. Like I really really I, love this. I really enjoy this. I really yeah. enjoy this. I think on the smell it's getting a little bit more like dried mango for me which is why mm. i said dried mango um so i wonder if this i mean it's cool but it's not like too cold but i no. wonder if it warms up i think bit. if this warms up it's definitely going to taste a lot different but, but you don't know if it should but i don't know if it should but i think more of the flavors are going to come out when it warms up that's typically from my experience what wines have done you know and I, I would, this is what I would do. I'm, I'm going to put this back in the wine fridge and then just leave these glasses out. It almost reminds me of like a fruit roll up or like fruit by the foot. Fruit by the foot. <laughs> like, you know, like when you eat one of those, you're like, yeah, I couldn't really tell you what flavor this is, but it has just like an insane amount of flavor to it. Yeah. I don't want to say it's tropical because it's not tropical fruit. I mean, it is tropical but it, but it fruits, is tropical fruits. but it's not like that brioche you know, kind of stuff you get with uh, classic champagnes. Mm -mm. But this maybe like, I mean, I love that it's a vintage wine too, like, cause they're gonna be different yeah. year to year. But I mean, it's- 
You it's know what fantastic. it probably is? It's probably like the ratios of the Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. I feel like mm. the Pinot Noir is probably like rounding it out. Yeah. In that's probably what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You might be right. I wonder. I, too bad that I, if this had Pinot Meunier in it. Uh -huh. I think. I mean, it's already fantastic. I just, you know, I would just be curious to see what it tastes like. I think we should let's let this warm up. Just yeah. Like a yeah, little yeah. bit. So this has been sitting here for what, like 30? Yeah, like 20, 30 minutes. It's warmed up. So. It's warmed it's up. Definitely, yeah, it's it's definitely cool. warmed up. It's definitely warmed up. And sorry, the nose. Yeah, the nose is more that dried pineapple. You are right. Yeah, yeah. I think I it's dried pineapple that. and dried mango though. I think yeah. it has both. Yeah, I've never experienced a dried mango in a wine, but I love dried mangoes. They are oh my god. one of my favorites. Spicy dried oh, yeah. mangoes. Oh. Yeah, the Trader Joe's ones. Okay, those Trader Joe's ones, those are like unreal. Yeah, the 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 Oh man. The the the, 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 the taste is <laughs> a lot of the same too, but it has like more of a toast, like a heavier toasted brioche bun. Hmm. It's not the creamy brioche bun, but it's a it's, it's toasty. More, I would say toast. It's more like a sourdough toast. <laughs> it's like toasted. <laughs> it's definitely toasted. Yeah, it is It is tasting a lot more toasted. Yeah. Um, but I, I do think that it still retains some of those, like, yeah, dried pineapple or whatever mm -hmm. sort of flavor. For this being 13 years old, a 2007, it doesn't taste as if it's, like, anywhere over the hill at all. I feel like this, this wine has an insanely long life left. Um, mm, yeah, but it, it I don't want to say it's fresh, but it's still it's fresh. It's I'm still it fresh. still tastes fresh But like when I when I say freshness, I usually think of like fresh fruits and this has more like dried fruits on it but Yeah, but yeah. when you but when you taste it mm -hmm. it like leaves you refreshed. Yeah, it guess. definitely leaves you refreshed. Um, this is a wine I will for sure buy more of because I Think it's only gonna get better over time. I don't know how long it's gonna go, but you know, to have a few more of these, I'm not gonna be mad about it, that's for sure. Uh -uh. But you know what? I actually think, so I think warming it up definitely gave it more of its like flavor profile, but I think I enjoy it a little bit cooler. Yeah, I liked it when it was cold mm. because it was more of like an explosion of the bubbles. Yeah, it really, it really was just kinda like a uh. Yeah, it was really, really good. But yeah, Argyle, holy cow. I mean, who is this? This is a recommendation from who? Uh, Frank R. Frank Thank you, R. Frank R. Holy cow, man. This Good is amazing. Good recommendation, man. Frank R., have you got another recommendation? He gave us a second recommendation oh, in his comment. Okay. So we'll, we'll try that one. Yeah. Next. Well, give us another one as well because... Yeah, but also give us very one. Because this, this is one you can kind of get in a lot of stores. <laughs> I'm sure there's some where I have to like go on their website and buy them that way. But yeah, anyways... Send us some recommendations. Thank you for joining us, Taste and Wine. Make sure you got that Taste and Wine. You ever had Argyle? You ever had One Lamb at Valley, Oregon, Sparkling Wine? This stuff is amazing. What? Get out there and taste something new. Try some wine. Let us know what you're trying. Let us know what you try next. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Follow us on Instagram. We started a new one. The handle is Tasting Wine Official because so official. we're official motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers.